Welcome back and good morning. It's the low 30s here outside of Kenton, Oklahoma at sunrise, and I'm surrounded by the Black Mesa State Park. And these buttes are made up of really beautiful successions of Cretaceous Purgatory Formation, Dakota Sandstone, and they're capped by the Ogallala Formation. And what we're gonna be looking at today is some of the Jurassic and maybe some of the Cretaceous section. And the Jurassic is really well known in this area for some dinosaur tracks that show up down in the gully. So we're gonna take a look at some of the dinosaur tracks in the gully. We're gonna take a look also at some of the bone quarries that are located out on the highway. And we're gonna see some really interesting paleo stuff out here. So stick around, I'll be showing you some great things in a minute. All right, well, as promised, we're in this awesome little gully where it's really interesting. Somebody's constructed some kind of little barrier here made out of concrete and rebar um, in an effort to protect the track site, which is pretty ironic because there's also a lot of cows that are walking through here and trouncing on everything. And the dinosaur tracks are right over here. It looks like somebody's been sweeping them off. Um, a lot of people do local educational things out at the site. There are 13 tracks. You can see them kind of lined up there. And they're made by a three-toed theropod dinosaur, something like an allosaurus. There's one of the tracks. And it's been proposed that this dinosaur had a bit of a limp because uh, a couple of the tracks seem to be um, sort of out of sync with the other ones. So there seems to be uh, a little bit of a, a misstep between them. I don't know how accurate that is. Um, you know, you can see like this one here turned in a little bit and then continues on. It could also be that the thing was just kind of walking and looking around and as animals turn their heads right and left, their tracks sometimes reflect that turning of the head. So maybe this guy was just out looking around on the Jurassic floodplain. Wasn't necessarily limping, but it could have been. Hey, why not multiple working hypotheses? So we moved a little bit closer to one of the Black Mesas of uh, Black Mesa State Park to take a look at the Cretaceous succession. Um, that lower slope forming unit, that's the Purgatory Formation, which is a combination of muds, silt, sands, kind of near shore, deltaic, estuarine deposits. That big prominent sandstone ridge is the Dakota Sandstone, the famous sandstone that you can see all those spectacular dinosaur tracks in right outside of Denver at Dinosaur Ridge. And I'll be doing a video on that later on. So I'll show you all what that looks like. It's a big nearshore tidal um, deltaic complex. There are little tidal channels. There's tidal flats, obviously, where the dinosaurs are stomping around. Um, so it's, again, one of these very complex nearshore um, sand bodies. On top of that is the Ogallala Formation, which is a big um, Cenozoic aquifer to the north. It's a very important aquifer in Wyoming and the Great Plains. Wow, look at that. It's always nice when they show you where the bones are out here if you're looking for fossils. This is Stovall's quarry, and this is where he found the type specimen of the giant theropod dinosaur, Saurophaganax. Uh, it's Oklahoma's state dinosaur. So we're going to go take a look at that quarry, see what the sedimentology tells us about it. So you can tell that this whole hillside has been kind of um, excavated away by the paleo crews from the earlier part of last century. Um, we're gonna just come up and take a look at this, see what we're seeing with the rocks. It looks like there's a lot of silt stones, uh, typical Mars information, kind of the variegated clays and silts. A um, little bit of bench forming silt in here, probably floodplain and overbank deposits. You see this really reddish material, nice oxidized paleosols, um, very typical of the Mars information, just kind of flaky. Um, little beds of silt, kind of contorted, probably dinoturbated, there's probably footprints in that. Uh, not very well exposed. But then on top of that is this big sandstone. Uh, well, not very big sandstone, it's only about a, you know, maybe under a meter thick. There's some cross bedding to it. And some of the smaller cross beds over there are going due west. So this could be a little splay off of the main channel like a little crevasse channel or something. So the bones were found in these floodplain deposits. Uh, I'm not sure if they were actually any recovered from the sandstone, but it looks like a typical Morrison quarry where 
this might have been kind of a floodplain watering hole and the animals congregated died of botulism or something drought and then sands covered them up when the river evolved or when a little crevasse play channel came in kind of interesting a cool monument to an ecosystem that used to be